Joe with CB Mania. I got Black Panther. What are you doing here? I'm here to promote my upcoming film, Black Panther Playing Bounty. Playing Bounty? When is that coming out? It should it should hit uh, the website probably uh, next month, no later than August. Awesome. Now, you already know, big movies coming out this summer. Iron Man, Hulk. How do you feel about that? Excellent movies. I, I can't wait to see the Hulk. The, the, the big green, go big green all the way. Awesome. Now, I don't want to break the news to you, but I swear that I saw a storm with Hellboy over at the D, uh, DK booth. Oh, well, I guess Hellboy needs the royal ass whooping. And right, it's coming. I, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Black Panther. Hi, this is Joe from CB Mania. I'm with my friend, Eric Paul. Thank you for coming. Um, no can you tell me how you got started in the business? Uh, I actually, uh, I went to a signing that Bernie Wrightson was having in Nashville and met uh, writer Tom Snagoski, who at the time was working on uh, Vampirella. And um, we kind of hit it off and uh, contact over phone and everything. And, and he eventually got me some work uh, doing some independent comic work with him. Uh, writing and then uh, kind of went from that to a few odd jobs here and there and then created the goon and brought it to Dark Horse. So. Of course, Dark Horse, the goon, that's yeah. awesome book. Can oh, you tell us about it? Uh, <laughs> I hate that question because it's really hard to explain because it's so all over the place. Um, it's kind of a dark comedy about this uh, uh, depression era kind of world with monsters and everything in this street thug named the goon who kind of polices the town a little bit awesome now is there anything any other projects that you may have with the goon any spin-offs um not right now i'm, I'm focusing on i have a big storyline going on right now because we've taken the book monthly for uh 2008 uh um so mainly just focusing on that and kind of getting it wrapped up and concluding this huge storyline now you're a big fan of comics, so yeah. can I ask you what are your favorite three books? My favorite three books would be uh, probably that's hard. That's <laughs> hard. Um, um, oh, I don't know. Bone, Bone and Hellboy would be on. That. No, I would never say the goon. But, uh, Bone, I think Bone and Hellboy would definitely be at the top of the list, and then there that there would be about 20 other titles that would probably tie for third. So, awesome. <laughs> Now, uh, do you have any advice for any of the young viewers that are watching that want to break into the business? Yeah, you just, if you want to be a comic artist, you know, just draw. Draw constantly, draw all the time, you know, and and uh, yeah, it's, it's very hard. You have to be really dedicated and uh, really put a lot of, uh, you know, time and effort into it. But if you want it bad enough and you have the talent, you can do it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, Go get you. the goon. <laughs> and it's an awesome book. Dark Horse, awesome. Thank you very much, Eric. Hi, this is Joe from CV Mania. I'm with my friend Grant Morrison. I um, want to ask you briefly about the uh, Batman storyline that's yeah. going on currently. Can you tell us a little bit more and what we could expect? Well, it's called Batman R.I.P., which is kind of tells you tells you what happens pretty much. So it's kind of a, it's a story about Batman facing up to the, his final his final curtain basically yeah. and it's about how that happens and how he gets manipulated by the ultimate evil mastermind because you know Batman's always been about fighting the evil mastermind who right. does the big weird plots behind the scenes yes. this is the ultimate one this is a plot that's been going on since he was a kid basically yeah, yeah. and it's uh, so I think it's, it's, it's very exciting for me because we're getting to do something with Batman that's never been done before and we're mm -hmm. getting to see how he deals with falling apart psychologically yeah. it sounds great so Everyone pick up current issue of Batman. Yeah, you'll dig it. It's got yes. a new Batmobile and everything. Thank you. <laughs> right, awesome. Hi, Joe from CV Mania with my very good friend, David Peterson. Hey, how you how doing? You doing? Very good, good, very good. Now, your book, Mouse Guard, of course, successful. What can you tell us about it for those that are watching now? Uh, Mouse Guard is a medieval fantasy book uh, with mice as the protagonists, the heroes. Uh, Everything in the world is bigger than them and trying to eat them. So it's it's their <laughs> jobs to try to uh, stay alive and, and live the good life. Awesome. Now, uh, of course, it's ongoing now. You have the uh, winter series that's going on. Yep. I uh, wrapped up fall last year. Winter started uh, summer last year. A couple delays with the, the issues coming out. But uh, hopefully we're going to get back on track. 
And uh, after the six issues are, are out, we'll collect that in a hardcover. Awesome. Now, any upcoming uh, things with Mouse Guard? Yeah, yeah. We've got, a, we've got two games coming out, a role-playing game, and then also like a pen and paper role-playing game, and then also a board game, a tabletop board game. Yeah, uh, I got to play test the, the role-playing game just a couple nights ago. It was really fun. Awesome, awesome. Now, you also have uh, toys on the works, uh, vinyls? Yeah, yeah, the vinyls are already out from uh, Diamond Select Toys. They did a beautiful job of, of making, them, making them real. Uh, yeah, they've got, they've got the vinyls, they've got a statue, and then also a plushie. Oh, plushies. Yeah. I love plushies. Oh. Now, um, how did you get into the business? For those that are watching right now and... Maybe some advice that you have for the viewers? Uh, I was very lucky. I, I, um, I was working a, a job at an antique store and knew that I wanted to be drawing for a living. So I, I tried my hand at doing a self-published comic. Okay. And then uh, through, the, through the beauty and magic of uh, print on demand, it was affordable to be able to, you know, I, I, don't, I can't print a thousand issues myself, but I could print 50 or 100. And uh, I brought one of those issues and showed it to Arkea. Uh, my publisher now, and they were really excited about it and said, let's do it. So uh, I got really lucky that the publisher, the first publisher I talked to was so enthusiastic about Mouse Guard. Now that you're in the business, do you have some sort of like advice for the young viewers that are watching that really want to break in? Like, I, I think you got to make sure that you practice uh, your storytelling. Okay. Uh, it, the, whether you're a writer or an artist, you know, you have to be telling a story that people want to read. It, it has to be engaging. And then ultimately, uh, the only way to get it out there is either to self-publish it and put it under people's noses or take it to publishers. So getting out and, and making your work available to people is... Basically doing the footwork. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the only way it's going to be seen. Awesome, awesome. Again, uh, any animations that we might be... Uh... We're, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're starting to talk about feature film. We've, awesome. got, uh, we've got a producer on board. And, and we'll see where it goes. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much, David. Thank you. Thank you.